Good morning, everyone. It's November 17th, and I'm getting quite tired of everyone in here because they're expecting too much of me. Every day I make her room, and every day it's a trash. The other one decided to go up for drinks and leave me to cook his food. But guess what? We're going on a walk. Run. <laughs> Just joking. More og burns. And the 30 year old tree that bought me as a present indoor. <laughs> I'm gonna bite you. I'm gonna bite you. I'm a dog. We just went and had lunch over at my mom's. And I decided to come by foot, so I brought the dog with me and my other pet. Do you guys like this pet or this pet? This pet or this pet? A and B. A and B. One's on a leash, one's not on a leash. So I just kept on walking and walking and walking. Took the dog home, left my daughter with her dad. Just looking at the view. The view is so relaxing. Just look at it. It's not too chilly, it's not too sunny, it's just perfect for walking. Right, 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 right. There's my house. Made it back home. Got my legs all nice and tired. So I could probably go to sleep. He took these things off this morning. These, I don't know what they're called. All of them. So he can paint it and we can buy glue and finish it. Can't wait to finish it. Look at the view from my store. Can't wait till everything is finished. And there's somebody's cat. That's my mom's cat. Can't wait. Can't wait. I want it to all be finished. Like wake up tomorrow and everything being finished. All my goals. I'm not a very patient person. And I feel like that's my mood right now. Exactly what you see. And it's almost afternoon. Time to end the video. But before going, let me just show you guys. I'm actually doing this week's plus and minuses for what I made. The, not the income. What the store made. Plus my expenses so I can see where I am. Like even my personal expense. Remember, I budget everything. I don't actually budget it. I just let it roll. So yeah. 
let me just show you guys that quick pick. So there's the ins, the outs, and no, I don't have a fixed income, like a fixed budget, like this much for, let me just find something for vegetables, this much for LPG fuel, uh, this much at this supplier, this much at that supplier. There's no such thing in my life. It goes as I work, it's like I'll be missing something, I'll just go and pick it up at the supermarket or a supplier in the afternoon while taking my daughter to school. Sometimes I buy too much, sometimes I buy too little, but I try to be somewhere in between. And some we eat. So that's it. Yeah, today started really awful, as you guys saw. It's a good morning because my daughter wasn't picking up her room. My son wasn't picking up his room. Nobody was doing laundry. Nothing is getting done. The water is out again. He came back for one hour and out, 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 out. My husband's like, I'm cooking, but I'll go out for a drink. You put it in the oven, blah, 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 and I'll come and do it. So I got really pissed and just went over to my mom's. Now she's upstairs, my daughter reading, not doing her broom, not going to have enough time to take a shower, not going to have enough time to do all her homework or nothing because she was sitting from Friday, not doing, telling me I have enough time. And if she tells me that she's done her English homework, I don't know what's going to happen because her English homework, her English books have been stuck in the car since Thursday and she's not taking them out. It's like, please take your books. I have the car keys. It's like, I'm opening the car. Please take your school bag. She's like, no. Later. After. And all that pressure actually got on my nerves this morning. Waiting for her to get up so I could take the dog for a walk. It's like, I haven't taken the dog for a walk all week because I've been running like an idiot for your school, for the bullying, for this and for that. Afternoons, I'm working or running after you from English school to Greek, from Greek school to English school, from basket, stuff like that. Then coming to the store and working till 1230. And there's no way at 12 or 11 or something like that, I'm going to go back there in pure darkness to get the dog for a walk. And Sunday, well, Saturday and Sundays are great days, but since my day was so packed yesterday again, I decided to do it on Sunday. And she wouldn't even get up have milk or whatever she wanted she was nagging me i was nagging her from nine o'clock till 11 to get up and when i got up to leave she's like i'm coming with you so i waited another half hour even a relaxing day turned out to be a psychologically very tiring day got them up in two ponytails because that's how i felt wearing my hair today so that was my sunday and I'm back to continuing this week's ins and outs because I hadn't done it. I usually do them every night, but it wasn't feeling up there, but I was writing everything down. Because this is the only way I'm going to keep myself on actual track with the YouTube videos, plus the writing, plus everything. I'm keeping myself accountable and on track, like, extremely. And I don't know what I'm going to do, but I know I'm going to succeed. So until tomorrow, keep saving, have fun, and come back tomorrow for another 365 days of frugal living about my life, my store, and everything in between because it's hard being me. <laughs>